Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. My name is Delise and I am a full-time working mom to three kiddos. And in this video, I wanted to share with you some busy mom dinner ideas. So the first thing I'm gonna make is some baked potatoes in the Instant Pot. I put a cup of water in at the bottom and on top of the trivet, I put my five potatoes, set it to high pressure on 14 minutes. And then I am cutting up about a quarter of a white onion here. And this is just gonna be for our vegetable side. I'm making peas and carrots. So I'm gonna cut up a quarter of the onion, add two tablespoons of butter into a pot, and just kind of cook the onions till they're translucent and throw in my frozen peas and carrots. It just kind of adds a little bit of flavor to it and my kids really enjoy it this way. And as always, I will season those up with some salt and pepper and just let them cook until they're heated all the way through. For protein, I am making some air fryer chicken tenders. So I had a chicken breast that I cut up into tender-like pieces, um, marinating in mustard, uh, Dijon mustard, mayonnaise, and some seasonings most of the day. And I am just dipping that in some Parmesan cheese and Italian-style panko breadcrumbs and cooking it in the air fryer on the chicken setting. I do spray them with some cooking spray so they crisp up a little bit. The potatoes are now done and they're perfect. And here's how the chicken turned out. And here is one of the kids' plates for the evening. I just added some cheddar cheese to their potato. For the next night, I made some burgers. They're kind of more like melts, patty melts. I um, did not have hamburger buns this day, but I was in a rush to get something on the table, so I toasted up some bread, made some burgers with cheese, and gave them celery and carrots and a pickle on the side. And I just had my burger with no bread and it was a good enough dinner for them. They were happy with it. They did add whatever toppings they wanted to their burgers and they were good to go for the night. For the next night, we kind of had something that I call our Puerto Rican comfort food. So I was making arroz con gandules, which is yellow rice with pigeon peas. So in this pot, I have three cups of water, uh, sofrito, adobo, and two cans of pigeon peas, and I just let that come to a boil, and then I will add in my two cups of rice, which is what you can kind of see me doing here. I apologize for the lighting on the camera. I think one of the kids messed with the settings this day. And I am now peeling a sweet potato that I will cut up and put into our beans. We really do like our rice and beans, um, but I try to add a little bit more nutrition to them by adding sweet potato and instead of a white potato like my grandmother would have traditionally done. I'm also gonna cut up about half of an onion to go ahead and put in with my beans. I just like the flavor of onion. You will see me use it a lot in a lot of the dishes I make. So at this point, the water has basically all cooked out of the rice. And so we do this kind of like scooping it into the middle, put a cover on it and cook it on low for the rest of the time. And here I am preparing my beans. I put some sofrito, some tomato sauce, about half of an eight ounce can, some water to cover the potatoes, adobo and sazon. And then this night, I I also had some leftover chicken from a few days before um, that I wanted to use up. So I added some barbecue sauce to it and baked it in the oven and it was a perfect side. On this next night, I am making buttered noodles with barbecue meatballs at a request of my son Junior. So I always buy these Italian style frozen meatballs from Costco. They're super easy. And then this is just some barbecue sauce from Aldi's, I think. In the back pot, I am cooking some meatballs for traditional marinara sauce for my husband. He doesn't prefer the barbecue sauce. I steamed the peas and carrots above the meatballs to make it easier and served it with buttered noodles. Super easy, super quick. For our next meal, I had some chicken that I marinated in lemon juice, olive oil, oregano, salt and pepper, and garlic. And I marinated that all day. I literally did it the day before. And I am just grilling that up on my indoor grill griddle just to have like a grilled type chicken, but it was still kind of chilly this night. Here is how 
how the chicken looked afterwards. It was delicious, guys. It was so moist, it had so much flavor, it was great. I didn't really measure the marinade, I kind of just made it up, but I would really advise you to just throw things in there and try it out. Some acid, some oil, it works great. So I then went ahead and paired this with a Greek salad. So I have some Kalamata olives, some cherry tomatoes, some mixed greens, feta cheese, cucumber, and I just kind of threw together a salad and dressed it. I made a dressing. Um, you'll see in a bit with olive oil, lemon juice, garlic, oregano, onion powder, salt, pepper, and a little bit of stevia. And this was absolutely refreshing. This next meal is my absolute favorite meal I made this week. I loved this so much. I wanted to try to make a spaghetti squash. I had never made it before, but I had watched many people do so. So I went ahead and cut the spaghetti squash in half, removed all the seeds and like innards to it. And then I um, drizzled olive oil on it and seasoned it heavily with salt and pepper. And I put it um, open side down on a foil wrapped baking sheet and I baked it. I'm pretty sure I did 400 for like 25 minutes. So I just cooked that like that and um, my son and I, my son Junior and I are actually going to split it. The rest of my family didn't want to try it. Um, and then I'm going to take some sofrito and put that in a pan and this is where I'm going to cook up my ground beef. I buy 90-10 ground beef so it doesn't have a lot of fat. Um, so I do add the sofrito first and let it kind of melt because it helps for the beef to not stick as much. Then I add my beef in and season it up, garlic, adobo, onion powder are my usual go-tos and then I just use my meat chopper and chop it all up and let it cook until it's browned. And then I use pizza sauce. I have a picky husband, he doesn't do well with textures. So we use pizza sauce because it doesn't have um, like chunks of onion or tomato in it. So I use the pizza sauce and I absolutely add water to that um, jar and um, add that into my sauce as well, just clean out the whole jar. And then I added some herbs and some more seasoning until the meat just tasted right. And um, here are our spaghetti squashes. They were amazing. And then you just um, kind of use a fork to make the innards more like a spaghetti pasta. And I will add some ground beef to this and I did top it with a little bit of mozzarella. I will say my son loved this. I loved it as well. I couldn't eat a whole thing. Um, I just had bariatric surgery, but I did love it. I did add some oregano on top. I popped that in the oven for a few minutes while I got the rest of the plates ready. Everybody else in the family was just having traditional spaghetti and meat sauce with a side of mixed vegetables. And then um, I also gave my son some mixed vegetables with his spaghetti squash and I just had about a quarter to a half of the spaghetti squash for dinner. But this was my favorite meal by far. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing these busy mom dinner ideas. I love getting back into my element. I used to do these a long time ago when I first started YouTube. Let me know if you enjoyed by giving me a thumbs up down below and leave a comment and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.